Welcome back to Woodcraft716.com. I'm Mike Weibel, and on this channel, we try to create and inspire through woodworking. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe, like, and hit that bell icon so you're notified of all the new content we have coming out. And just like that, let's get started. I'm pretty excited about today's video because today we're going to be reorganizing the clamp wall. We're going to try to figure out a way to make it a little more space saving. It just takes up too much of the wall and I want to gain some of that back. The first thing I'm going to be doing is tearing this old one out. It's not that hard. It all comes out pretty much in one piece. So to start this project, I need to clean this wall off. I'll take it down to the bare minimum and we'll start from scratch. Just like that. So my idea is instead of having three of them side by side like that, if I make a shelf and I can stack these, that'll really save some space. I'm just using some scrap three quarter inch plywood that I had left over from a project. I'm gonna cut this shape out. My shelf is 18 inches, so I went ahead and cut these to 17 inches. I'm gonna make two of these for the 60 inch clamps. I'm gonna take it over to the table saw and I'm gonna rip it into a five inch strip by 17 inches. Then it's over to the miter saw. I have it set at 15 degrees. I came down two inches from the top side and that'll give me just enough room to cut off the end. I'll make that cut and this part will be done. So I just went and put a quick coat of paint on this. Then I'm gonna put it on the wall and screw it in. I'm gonna start by putting the shelf where I want it. Then I'm gonna put one screw in at the top. I'll put a level on it and I'll make sure it's leaning back just a hair. Put the next screw in and drive one more in for good measure. Then when I know where I want to put the other one, I put a clamp on the end we screwed in, put a level on it and lined it up for our next one. Then I just went ahead and did the same thing I did for the other side. And just like that, we got the first one in. It's got eight clamps on it, so that really saved a lot of room. I think I have room for three more if I really needed it. This just saved a ton of space. So I just followed the steps and made three more of these, spaced them out evenly so that I could put smaller clamps on there. So the only clamps I really have left are my squeeze clamps. So I went ahead and made two more of these. Then I took an inch and a half and cut it off. I ripped the two by four down to about two and a half inches and glued it and screwed it onto the top. Now I'm going to screw it to either side of the stud so it leaves a little gap and holds my clamps nice. And just like that, I saved quite a bit of space here. I freed up all the space on the bottom. Maybe I'll continue this cabinet over. I really like the idea of stacking the clamps. I think it frees up a lot of space that I need. This was a super easy project you could do with scrap laying around your shop. Nothing hard about it at all. If you got any value out of this, subscribe, like, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you store your clamps. And just like that, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. just like that.